Welcome to Living Face Midweek Devotions. Today I want to continue in our talk about God's purpose for our life. And as we look at it this third week, we're looking at how our contribution in everything we do for work matters. The smallest task to the largest task, even the little tasks matter. And so what I want to share with you is what Paul has written in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 is a long chapter known as spiritual gifts, about spiritual gifts that God has given each and every one of us. Talents, abilities, different things that he has given us each to have special gifts for, especially to build up the church, to build up our faith, and to help other people's faith. Well, as you dig into chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians, you see that he starts talking about the body of Christ, the built-up body of Christ, that it's not just Jesus, but Jesus is the head, and every single believer is a part of that body. So then he builds his picture. Look at this. He says this, and starting in verse 12, Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. You, dear friends, are part of the body of Christ. Christ is your head, but him as the head is connected to all the other parts, which means you are connected to him, just like he is described that he is the vine and you are the branches. When you are connected to him, you receive all the wonderful fruits through the vine. Same with the body. The brain, the head, Jesus, then helps and functions all the rest of his body. It flows through. So his blood that he shed for you flows through you and is connected to you, forgives you washes you clean. But not just that imagery. Look at what it goes into next. Now if the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. I've got something very unique to bring to this illustration that Jesus is saying. Let's further that a little bit. It's not healthy for a hand to say to the fingernails, I don't need you. Or for the face and the eyes to say to the eyebrows and the eyelashes, I don't need you. Even those smaller little things, those smaller little features, parts of the body, they have an important function. Think how much those nails help grasp and protect your fingertips. Help you pick up smaller things. Help you scratch and do the things that you need to do. Take off stickers, all those types of things. Fingernails are very important. What about your eyebrows and your eyelashes? They keep dust or sweat, things entering the eyes. Now, once in a while when they fall off, yes, and they get stuck in the eye, that's annoying. But just think if you didn't have the eyebrows and eyelashes and all the dust particles got in your eye all the time, it would be very frustrating and painful. So no matter what part of the body of Christ you are, no matter how small of tasks that maybe you can contribute to the body of Christ to build it up, you're important. Your contribution to the body of Christ matters. Your contribution in faith to this world matters. Your contribution matters because you're connected to the head, Jesus Christ, and everything that's connected to him matters is vitally important because if we're connected to him we know we have heaven waiting for us and if we're connected to him 
We are connected to the power of his resurrection, the power of his forgiveness of sins, which then works through us to work and to help and contribute to others. Dear friends, think of things that you can do this week that your contribution, being connected to Christ, will matter to yourself, to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors, your co-workers. Think of how you can serve them and get them connected to Christ. God bless you, dear friends. Until next time. Music